Welcome to another video of SPSS video series. Uh, the main purpose of making this video is to differentiate between uh, a new macro process which has been uh, uh, developed by Andrew F. Hayes. Now previously they were using uh, the macro process 2.5 version which is on this side and currently they're using the process macro 3.5 version which is on this side. So in this video we will talk about First of all, the differences in the two macro processes. There are very slight differences, but still uh, we need to know uh, what are those differences. And then we'll uh, also analyze some data uh, related to their some of the model numbers, like model number one, which is for simple moderation, model number four for simple mediation. We'll also talk about model, model number six. And then eventually we'll talk about the moderated mediation using model number 7 and model number 14. But let's just first discuss about the difference between these two processes. So here we have these two PDF uh, uh, versions of the uh, templates. So the previous version, which is 2.5, this was available uh, in their download. But this version 3.5 version of macro process uh, uh, which is being used for SPSS this is only available if you buy their book so this 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 is given at the end of their uh, uh, book which they have recently published so starting from here actually the 2.5 version had different models starting from this model 1 which is used for simple moderation and they go from here to a number of models and if we just jump to the last model and here you can see that 76th is the last model that they have given in this template but on the other hand if you talk about 3.5 version they have given uh, they have added some models and moving from here onwards if we just jump to to the end they have 92 models here. So that means they have added new models in their uh, template. And obviously there are slight differences uh, in how uh, we'll be analyzing our data and then how uh, we'll be uh, interpreting our results. So let's just go back to uh, the model one in version 2.5, which is here, and the model one of version 3.5, which is here. So, uh, we have seen that there are uh, 92 in the new version models and 76 in the previous version. Now, starting from the model 1, which is being used for simple moderation, what are the differences and if there are any differences or not? So, if you can see that x is our independent variable here and y is our dependent variable here in the previous version and m is taken as our moderating variable. Now in the new version we can clearly see that w is taken as the moderating variable but x and y are the same. Uh, what are these w's and m's? We'll talk about them when we'll move towards our SPSS analysis. Then moving towards uh, let's say model number 4 which is used for simple mediation. The previous version has the model number four as the x as independent variable, y as dependent variable and m1 as the mediating variable. So in the same case, if we just see the model number four in here, they are the same x and x, y and y and m1 and m1. So there's no change in model number four. So if you want to uh, know the analysis of model number four independently, you can uh, go to one of the videos of uh, mediation analysis, which is part two, and you'll be able to uh, understand that. Now, let's just move towards model number six, which is used for sequential mediation. And in the previous version, it used to be like this X, Y, M1 and M2. And in the new version, it is the same X, Y. M1 and M2 but we need to see that how they have changed the model number 7 now model number 7 if you not care about what this model is about you can go back to part 1 
then we have discussed uh, a very detailed uh, uh, model of this thing which is called moderated mediation so if this uh, moderator is going to moderate here in this path then this mediated is going to mediate between independent and dependent variable so here we can clearly see that there is no change so x y m1 x y m1 and then moderator is taken as w the same way if you move to for example model number 14 which is also used for moderated mediation in the previous version they have this as x y m1 and v in the previous version it was considered as v the moderator was considered as v but in the new version let's just see if they have changed it yes in the new version instead of v now we'll have to see that w is taken as our moderating variable so these are the few differences and if you want to compare some more models you can always uh, compare uh, different models as there's a change in model number 15 and then there might be a change in model number 16 so as most of us we do not go towards these complex uh, analysis so model 1 model 4 model 6 7 and 14 are enough in order to know what have they really changed so now let's just go back to our uh, analysis part and here we want to be very uh, clear that we'll be doing analysis with model 1 which is for simple moderation model 4 model 7 and model 14 we'll be using version 3.5 and if you want to use uh, version 2.5 you can always go back to part 2 uh, where you're going to find how we uh, do these analysis using uh, the version 2.5 let's just go to our uh, model number 4 which we can use for our simple mediation analysis and again analyze regression and remember we are using version 3.5 and here we can just go for reset so we have all uh, windows fresh now we just have to analyze the model number 4 which is uh, we'll just go back and we'll see what was our model number 4 so set creativity performance and innovation so creativity is our independent variable, performance is our dependent variable, innovation is our mediating variable which will be taken as M. But remember that we'll be using model 4. So let's just go back to our SPSS sheet and see how can we analyze model 4. So first we need to change this model number into model number 4. Then we need to be clear. Creativity is our independent variable is going to go to this X. Performance is our dependent variable, so it's going to go here. And then uh, innovation is our mediating variable. And there we saw that it's going to go to this M variable. Here it is mentioned. So it's going to go to M. You can go to some of the options uh, and you can generate some of the effects. For example, here we can uh, add the total effect model. And rest if you want otherwise it is fine so continue and again if you want to change some confidence interval or number of bootstraps you can do it but we are fine with it so let's just go and see what our results say so running matrix it is taking some time okay here are our results and it is saying that model number four has been used where performance was taken as dependent variable which is why creativity as independent variable and M uh, which is innovation as taken as uh, mediating variable. So first of all you need to see that if your creativity is okay with your innovation. So this is your independent variable and this is your dependent variable here and the relationship is here. So it is fine the T is above 2 far above 2 it is significant so LLCI and ULCI uh, does not carry zero or uh, does not carry zero in their uh, range or they have the same sign which means the values are significant but the most important uh, results that we need to see here is uh, these ones which is the total effect direct effect and indirect effect you need to see part 
A of uh, the same video uh, in order to understand these things. But just to remind you, uh, if you just see this mediation analysis, we can say that direct effect is the effect of the independent variable to the dependent variable. And indirect effect is the effect on dependent variable through the mediator. So this is the simple difference that we can uh, use. And the total effect is the sum of direct effect and indirect effect. So let's just go to our uh, analysis part and see uh, what we got here. So total effect is uh, 0 0.792. The direct effect is 0 0.1299. And then indirect effect is 0.683. Now, we also have to see if these effects are significant. So T value is fine, prob uh, the probability is fine, P value, and LLC and ULC are also fine. And direct effect, it is also fine, it is significant. The value is the P value is less than 0 0.05. And here we don't get the P values, but we get these uh, root uh, LLC and ULCI. And looking at these, we can also say that. The value of indirect effect is also significant so there is a mediation and we can say that there is a uh, partial mediation and the reason of partial mediation is that uh, because we also have this direct path which is significant so this is how we use our model number four in the version 3.5 of uh, macro process developed by andrew hayes thank you very much